Next, we head to the woods near Lake Sunapee for a treehouse experience the Keebler elves would be jealous of. If you lay in bed, you look out, you see the boughs of the trees. You know, you're not really seeing the ground. And it's, it's pretty special staying here. The tree didn't grow straight, so we made the wall. This 640 square foot, two story home is thanks to Gordon Tiff Stanley. My daughter had sent us a picture of a tree house and said, Dad, why don't you build this for your granddaughter? Tiff made up plans, checked them with an engineer, and then started building by himself in his free time from his auto body shop. Solo work isn't easy way up in a tree. There's a couple of the pins that are a little tilted because I was standing up on a ladder 14 feet high with a, with a uh, half inch drill bit with a level duct tape to it to try to get it to screw into the tree. Tiff would use five different trees where the house supports simply rest on top of those pins. To get the job done, he recruited help from friends like Dennis Barassa. Uh, we grew on each other and uh, it's been a great, great relationship to get this done. The two would spend weekends for four years putting together a wood masterpiece in the trees. What would people say to you when you said, well, I'm, I'm off to go build a tree house? Crazy was one of the good things they called me. The tree house became a bona fide custom home, 14 feet off the ground, almost entirely made from recycled hardware and reclaimed wood. All these cupboards are from a cottage down the road that they tore down four years ago, and they're all recycled lumber. I like the warm feeling of the old recycled stuff. It just is nice and warm and, and fun to work with. After a while, it's easy to forget you're in a tree house. This home has all the same amenities as any other house, including Wi-Fi and cable. This tree house has central vacuum system, has air conditioning, has all heated tile floors, um, all your propane fireplace and electrical. It has everything that you need. Downstairs is bedroom number one, a sitting area, which includes a mouse house diorama, there's also a full kitchen and a bathroom you might find in a fancy hotel. And here's the flusher. It's just a normal toilet. Upstairs is bedroom number two, which includes a sitting area and lots of windows. Do you ever see any wildlife out here? Oh yes, we see deer, <laughs> turkeys. Each floor has a view of the main oak tree that runs through the center of the house. And if you get dirty climbing other trees on the property, no worries. This is fantastic. If you want a little privacy, slide it over there while you're doing your washing and drying. Wow. Because most tree houses have a washer and dryer, right? Yeah, they should have. Here's the best part. The Stanleys built this elaborate tree house to rent out to you. Everybody that has stopped by to see it is really interested. They said, oh, we'd love to stay here. And that's what made us decide that we would short-term rent it to people so that other people could enjoy it. I still sit and look and can't believe what's here. It is, it is unique. Um, you won't find this anywhere else, you know. There are beautiful places built, you know, tree houses, but it's one of a kind. It's just one of a kind. And to be part of it has been really, really special. One of my classmates said, that's not a tree house, that's a house in the trees. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess it depends your opinion, you know. It's still a tree house to me.